What's up YouTube? Back with another video on the YouTube channel. We are here with quite like um, a one-to-one -one, as it were. Um, I wanted to talk about the mindset of FC and FC25. It's currently Wednesday, so obviously the game is going to be dropping. This will be live before the streamers get the, uh, the game. Um, and Obviously, we got a couple of games before um, the game comes out for everyone on Autumn Edition, and obviously, you have to wait a little bit for the Standard Edition. So, I want to talk about like that. This is going to be like a one-to-one, -one. like a like a like a little, not unedited. It was it will still be edited a little bit, but not as much. Um, but the mindset with FC FC, like by the way, thank you so much for the previous. Uh, love on the start of FC uh, 25 with the uh, the highest rated, the icons, and uh, there was another video. Thank you so much, by the way. The, the comments and the likes and the support, and it's, it's much appreciated. So, basically, we've got a few points to make uh, for this video that I hope resonates with you guys because I see a lot of people complain about um obviously leaks they'll complain about you know these cards that are coming out all the time and oh my god you know fifa points and the most have been in in recent times and store packs and obviously objectives stuff like that so we are going to go through like a little list but there will obviously be chapters down below of telling you about like, you know, if you want to skip one and you want to go to the next one, they'll all be there. Um, so, let's start off with pre-order. Now, people get worked up with the pre-order. Like, oh my God, I have to get pre-order, you know, before uh, the Friday. I mean, I've already pre-ordered it. I don't know when the date is. Uh, I presume the, the, the date of release is when, like, the, the you get, like, the, the following stuff like you know like the the evolution content uh the bellingham ambassadors but if i'm being honest you can buy i'm pretty sure you can buy the autumn edition when the game drops and you'll still get all the benefits that are listed down below so what i will say with that i mean i'm a content creator but in recent months i've not had the money to buy the game straight away so i've missed out on the hero and for me if it was a couple of years ago, I'd be really annoyed with myself. But now it, it don't really matter. The amount of SBCs that we'll get, and let's be honest, you're probably going to pack a Tim Howard anyway. So it's not really that deep if I'm being totally honest. So if you feel like yourself that, you know, your mum or dad can't afford the game or yourself can't afford the game, then, then don't worry. You know, obviously the standard edition is... Uh, on the 27th, so there's, it's a week before everybody else. But don't sweat it. Don't don't honestly sweat it. You know, you watch content creators, streamers, YouTubers. They'll be putting out loads of content for you to watch. And yeah, for more, it is what it is. But for me, I, I just I, I've never really done one of these videos, so I'm a, I'm a bit stuttering, you know. But for me, so for me, I don't know what console you guys who watch are on, but I purchased the Ultimate Edition off CD Keys for £72. A totally legitimate website, and I am promoting them. I'm just telling you where I bought mine from. So for £3 more, I've got the game a week early as an Ultimate Edition uh, player for like three twin more. I think, is it £69 on the store for the Standard Edition? So all I will say is without jumping into like the store, like go and look at like websites that will have either, if you're a PS PlayStation player, buy the cords, the cords will work out cheaper. Look on CD keys if you're an Xbox player, you know, for £3 more to get the game seven days early, yeah, you've missed the hero, but it is it is what it is you're probably gonna pack a tim howard anywhere now next on the list we're gonna be talking about the store the 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 fp that you get for ultimate edition or actually putting on fp now obviously what i will want to say and i don't think this is not common knowledge but a lot of people don't think about this a lot of people hate content creators and streamers for putting on stupid amounts of fp 
uh, at the start of the game to get like the teams that we want. Um, and a lot of this gets put on the radar, under the radar, sadly, is the people that put on the sort of FP, the stupid amount of FP, there's two things to this. One, the content creators and streamers, and they're either financially stable or they get their money back via uh, tax returns, stuff like that. They, they'll, it's basically a business expense, as it were. So you'll see people with like a million FIFA points, 300k, 500k, 100k, whatever that is, depending on the streamer or content creator that you do watch. But please don't be sucked in. Obviously, it's nice. It's nice to see all these, you know, putting FP on. But it gets really, it can add up. Like, you might think to yourself, you know, the, the custom stadium items, you think, oh, good. A certain kit's available for 400 FP. And you think, yeah, okay, 400 FP is what? FC points? Uh, for 500 FP, it's £4. So you think, okay, it's £5. That's it. I'm only spending £5 nearly. It's all good. £5 racks up. The amount of like 500, like you get those, what is it, nano packs that we got last year with the promos. Obviously, I can't show you because there is none, which is a surprise at this stage of the game. I thought EA would even a few days before put some store packs in so so what i will say as well at one side is don't get annoyed at seeing streamers and content creators open these stupid amount of fifa points and be like oh my god these people are ruining the game and all this good stuff but just enjoy it like a lot of people it goes into a deep dark pit of absolutely nothing you know it, it, you know, at the end of the game, you'll look back on how much you've spent, and you might not have expendable income. If you don't have expendable income, I would try to run a free to play. Generally, this year, with the amount of games and the amount of rewards, if you looked in the deep dive of FC25, of what we're going to get as rewards, if you're a good enough player, you can get some really good rewards for playing the game, you know. Like, if you're a rank one player, 200,000 coins straight away. It's crazy. It's going to be one of the easiest years to get a team. But, obviously, if you're on the other side of the fence, if you have got expendable income, I'm not the one to tell you, do not spend it. You know, you're setting a bad example. I've spent FIFA points in the past. I'm not financially stable, so I won't be doing it this year. But, if you have got expendable income, like why not like why not put on fifa points for, for 2000 you know pack store uh store pack you know it is what it is what's what's 2000 fifa points 20 quid if you got the sort of money to do it then I, i'm not stopping you this is not a video to say well, you shouldn't be spending fifa uh, fifa points full stop but if you've got the money to do it then go ahead i'm just trying to advise people that obviously aren't financially stable or then you know they're not a content creator to not spend money on this game because the game cycle is so long it's like a it's a full year well 10 months i would say 10 11 months um the, the game cycle is long you don't have so much time to 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 earn your team throughout the year you know there's going to be so many objective packs which we'll get to in a sec you know there's all that sort of stuff so honestly don't worry about it. Seeing these people who open all these FIFA points, just don't worry about it. I'm going to bring you on to the objectives for FC25. So, it's, I think they're going to be roughly staying the same, if I'm being totally honest. So, what I will say as well, you are going to get packs for these the sort of objectives. The 250 goals, and the 500 goals, the 100 goals. What I will say as well, like I said just then, the game cycle is so long, right? The first month of FC is very important. I get that. But there is so many people that will rush these. I run an RTG and I just do these ca casually. And I, I, it's much more worth because I'll get to a game where it'll say objective complete. I'll look and it's like, oh God, a hundred care pack for the RTG. Rather than absolutely, you know, going into squad battles, absolutely murdering the AI. And then you get to a stage where you're like, oh, there's no more packs to open. What do I do? You know, you've you've got such a long time. You know, packs are king. I get it. And people want to just open packs at the beginning. 
but actually learn the game, grind the game out with the new player rules and you know tactics. Just and and just basically getting to the fact that we're not running 99 rated cars no more. We're just not these sort of these 99 rated uh, cards in the club. My like, I've not played, but these 99 rated cards here, they're just you know they're not viable. That at this uh, when you get the first game, your players are no word of a lie. Your players are gonna feel slow. Passing's gonna feel awful. You know. They're not gonna feel fast. They aren't gonna shoot. They're not gonna store every single goal that you you know you do you you shoot with. You know you do try and store with. So just learn the game mechanics. Learn, just learn them. And as I said again, with with like rushing stuff, we'll get no doubt foundations that give you, you know, the hundred k packs, the the rare mega packs with with possible coins. Like these will probably stay the same for FC twenty five. Don't rush into them. People are obsessed with getting them done straight away. Just honestly, enjoy the game. FOMO is a definite thing. I understand it with like SBCs. Like that's another thing as well. FOMO is 100% a thing. So this is De Bruyne's SBC. If you remember this card, he got a flashback at the start of the game. We are getting another flashback SBC. But I, I'm not going to say it. I don't want people to have it spoiled. De Bruyne had an SBC. It was an 86 and an 87 rated cut. At the start of the game, 86s and 87s are so expensive. That was nearly a 200,000 SBC. No, it was probably more because that's based on like prices now. So yeah, like that, that card is good. Don't get me wrong. Now, like I said, expendable income, you're totally fine with that. But don't be put off that you can't afford that card. You know, SBCs, objective cards. There's an objective coming that'll probably get replaced within a week. I can't even lie. Or it might not even be worth doing. You know, just take your time. There's going to be so many cards available. Now, for me, as a content creator, and yourself might be, I'm a, I'm a bit of a card collector. I am going to focus more on that this year. But it isn't that deep. It's not that deep. Four more, it is what it is. Objectives will be replaced within a week or two. You know, EA seems to be going through this phase of every week now we're getting a new promo. There's going to be similar priced cards every week that are going to improve your team dramatically. So yeah, I just want to be honest. And honestly, like I said, like I, I retrain, I retrain back to the fact of free to play and people that have expendable income, you'll see an icon pack that no gets, gets dropped as an SBC. Please don't feel like you have to put on £20 to get that icon SBC that you're no doubt going to pack a Paul Stoles from. People don't want to hear this. EA don't want to probably hear this. Content creators don't want to hear this. But I want to be brutally honest with you guys. Like, I enjoy the grind of an RTG. Am I going to be spending fever points this year like I've done in previouses? Absolutely not. I don't think it's worth this year. I'll see store packs, no doubt, in the first week. I'll have like a 350,000 coin or like a, I don't know, like a 2,000 FIFA point uh, requirement. I'm not going to do it. You, you can't you, you can't keep doing it. But like I said, expendable income or a content creator who is financially stable, fair play, you go ahead. I won't be. But it's down to you guys to, to, to control yourself. What I will say is if you do want to make coins, you do want to, you know, you don't want to spend FP, but you do want to drain the game, like I will encourage you guys to do. Like, learn the gameplay mechanics. Learn trading. So I am part of a, a Discord. I am part of a team leveled up. So I wanted to show you as well. So yeah, I am part of a Discord. Now... Obviously, I love to promote this. I'll put my link down below of like a link you can apply. So if you're a new member, you get a seven day free trial with uh, either £10 monthly or £60 annually. And there's a few people here in this Discord that are so helpful about making coins. You won't have to even think about FP if you want to spend. So if you want to say to your mum and dad or yourself, okay, you know, that £10, so if you think that £10, you'd get what? What would you actually get? A thousand? No. 
Yeah, about what? What is the what is the store? So no, sixteen hundred fever points. So that would get you ten, eleven, maybe twelve seven and a half k packs. Um, it won't even get you a promo pack hardly these days. But for that ten pounds, you can then use this is every month. There is people that post daily tips, daily trading for every single platform. There's a 6 p.m. Discord call that you can join and you can actually listen to the uh, traders that will grind the hell out of this game. Like, for instance, there's a guy called Zinya, who's, who's obviously a joint owner of Leveled Up. If I go to uh, Zinya, here he is. Uh, he's a top 100 foot trader. He's a Leicester fan, so if you are a Leicester fan, enjoy. <laughs> um, and look, 75th in the world. He made 126 million coins this year. You know, so he's part of the leveled up trading discord. He owns the trading discord alongside Ryan, another good guy. Um, and yeah, if, like if you're gonna spend money on this game, I'd spend it on a training discord. So yeah, basically on a conclusion with this, by the end of the game cycle, this is the sort of team that you will get. Like what I will say, enjoy the year ahead. Enjoy it. Don't get stressed if you don't get the rank that you want. Learn to build on that. Learn to improve your game. Look at the tactics. Tactics are going to be a massive thing this year in terms of player rules. Uh, not player instructions. That's obviously recovered by rules. There's players, player. There's websites like Foot.gg, Easy SPC, Footbin. If you like, you know, there's 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 websites out there that are there to help you research the sort of cards that you want and just re remember, like there's going to be so many cards this year. There's just going to be so many promos. You, you'll get there. It's not a running, it's not, you know, a lot of people will love to put FP on and be like, right, there's my team. I'm going to get it, you know. Enjoy it. I will encourage an RTG. A themed RTG might, might be something you might want to do. If you support a certain team, you know, I saw someone do a full Scottish Premier League team for the, for the full year. That looked quite fun. You know, if you want to be quite unique, it might actually help you, you know, worry about the ranks, not worrying about whether I'll get qualified for champs, just enjoying the team or the club or the lead that you, 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 your team is currently in. Please put your comments below as well. If you have got this far, what you think? Like, am I talking rubbish? Am I talking some sense? Are you, what are you going to be doing? Are you doing... FIFA points, are you doing a free to play? Let me know down below what you're doing. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.